The world of maths can be tricky, but not for Shakuntala Devi, the human computer who was a magician of numbers. Shankantala Devi was an Indian mathematical genius, author, and astrologer. She was often properly referred to as the human computer. Her ability to perform mathematical calculations in seconds earned her a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records, the 1982 edition. Besides writing texts and books on mathematics, Devi is also uh, an, an author who's authored many novels, cookbooks, astrology books, and puzzles, etc., etc. Uh, she traveled around the world and displayed her mathematical abilities in places like uh, uh, theaters, colleges, uh, TV, and radio. She expressed all of her ideas in those places. She also wrote a book about homosexuality and is regarded as a pioneer in this area of study. The biopic film Shankatala Devi actually based on the life of Shankatala. Uh, Vidya Bala will star in the lead role of Devi. Uh, Sanya Malhotra has been cast to play the role of Devi's daughter, uh, Anupama Banerjee. And uh, the movie is directed by Anu Menon and produced by Sony Pictures Network's production in Ambudantia Entertainment. My apologies if I have butchered all of those names. Uh, Shakuntali Devi was born on the 4th of November 1929 in Bangalore, Mysore Estate, British India. Her father was an Orthodox Kannada Brahmin, but he did not want to become a priest in the temple, so he rebelled and he began working in the circus as a lion tamer, a trapeze artist, a magician, a tightrope walker, many things. Uh, when he was teaching his three-year-old Shakuntala some card tricks, he then noticed um, her unique mathematical abilities. Devi's father subsequently Quently, uh, left his job at the circus and went on road shows with Shankantala where he demonstrated all of her mathematical and calculating abilities. Uh, Devi had no formal education and yet she was able to do arithmetic problems at a college level. She displayed her calculating skills at the University of Mysore when she was about six years old. Shankantala and her father then moved to London in 1944. Devi traveled all around the world where you know she showed her talent in mathematics. In 1950 she traveled to around Europe and then in 1976 uh, she had a show in New York City um, and during a program uh, actually at the Southern Methodist University in 1977, Devi correctly answered 50, uh, in 50 seconds uh, to a question um, about the 23rd root of a given number with 201 digits. A special computer with large computation abilities actually took longer to calculate that answer than she did. The event that got her the place, though, in the 1982 Guinness Book of World Records actually took place at the Imperial College of London in June of 1980. The computer department at the college had ran randomly picked two 13-digit numbers, and Debbie was asked to multiply them. She gave the correct answer in exactly 28 seconds. Amazing! Uh, <laughs> uh, Debbie toured the University of California, Berkeley in 1988, where professor of psychology Arthur Jensen uh, studied her arithmetic abilities. Uh, she was asked to carry out many mathematical tasks, uh, things like calculations, etc., and Debbie correctly solved the task and calculated everything within seconds. In 1990, Jensen's findings of the study were published in an, actually, uh, an academic journal of intelligence. Shankantala fought the 1980 general elections from Mumbai South as an independent, as well as uh, from Meta constituency located in uh, Andhra Pradesh, which is now Telangana. Former uh, PM Indira Gandhi was in the race for the Medic Lok Sabha seat, and Davids was contesting against her. Her rhetoric was that she wanted to defend Medek's people from getting fooled by Indira Gandhi. She lost the election, unfortunately, and was placed seventh in uh, Medek. Uh, a little bit of personal life and trivia about her. So Shankantala moved back to India from London in the mid-60s. Uh, she then got married to an IAS uh, officer, uh, Paritash Banerjee. They had a daughter, Anupama Banerjee. The couple divorced in 1979. Devi settled in Bangalore, Kanakata, or Kanataka in uh, the 1980s. Wow, I'm just killing these names here, aren't I? Uh, she was hospitalized at the Bangalore Hospital in Bangalore in April 2013 due to respiratory issues. She later developed complications of the kidneys of the heart and then passed away on April 21st, 2013 at age 83. Uh, a lot of the methods used by Debbie to carry out mathematical calculations mentally were written down and explained by her in her book entitled Figuring the Joy of Numbers. This book actually continues to be in print to this day. She wrote a book also about homosexuality uh, in India in 1977. It was titled The World of Homosexuals. The book re was regarded actually as a very groundbreaking one and it called for a complete and full acceptance of homosexuality instead of sympathy and tolerance as well as for decriminalizing it. The book did did not garner much attention at that time. When being filmed for the documentary called For Straits Only, Shakuntala stated that she was interested in the subject of homosexuality only because she was married to a gay man. Hence, she wanted to have a better understanding and a closer look on the subject. Indians don't acknowledge it. They don't know where they belong, you know. If there is hostility, they can fight it back. 
you know, there's no hostility also. It's just that they, they don't acknowledge. What day of the week was I uh, born? If I was born on the 10th of March, 1940. Sunday. That's what my mother tells me anyway, <laughs> so I guess it's right. 7 multiplied by 7 is equal to 49. Right. 49 multiplied by 7 is equal to 343. Whoa. 343 <laughs> multiplied by 7 is equal to 2401. Whoa. 2401 multiplied by 49 is equal to 1176. One, Four nine. Whoa. That's correct. Right? That's one one seven six four nine multiplied by seven is equal to eight two three five four three. My That's God. Right. Okay. So there you go. There you go. Everything you want to know about Shankatala. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>